I'm going to do some random pulls for Japanese mahjong, also known as Richi. If you're new to Richi, look for links below the video to a tutorial and a primer written by Dana Chiba. Between watching the tutorial and studying Dana Chiba's primer, I have learned so much about the game. It's very challenging and a lot of fun to play. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do six random pulls. We'll alternate between the east and the south round, and I'm going to roll dice to randomize which seat we're in because those variables can affect decision making. I rolled a four. One, two, three, four. So we're going to be in north seat. Let's pull Dora. Seven bam is Dora. If seven bam is in our hand when we win, we would get an extra Han for that, which is a scoring element. Let's get 13 tiles, which is how many tiles you get when you are non-dealer. Okay, for this, I think I would probably go for a hand called Toy Toy, which is all three of a kind. We have three pair right now. We would need to get more pair, two more to be exact, so that we could then claim a discard or draw into three of a kind for each block. I think I would probably hold these for a little while because if we pair up and get a pwn of those, they'll be a Yaku and a Han all by themselves. So I think I would start by discarding the BAMs. If we drew in cracks, I might even sacrifice the eight dot because we could play half flesh, which is one suit with winds and dragons. I would hold it though, because it is a pair and we could use it as a pawn. It's okay to mix suits if you're playing toy toy because uh, toy toy is a Yaku and a Han, even if you mix suits. If you were to play one suit though, that would be a half flush. If we stuck with pawns as well, you can play both of those. So a half flush would be two Han. All pawn would be two Han as well. This would be east round, we're north seat. We could get score for that. That's called Yakuhai, which is the wind for the round. So that would be a pretty good hand if we could do that. Discard these first. See if we draw cracks. Otherwise, keep this and maybe pwn. Go for toy toy primarily. Maybe half flush. If you would do something differently, right? Pull one and what you would do here. Now there's one other thing. There's a six bam, seven bam is door. We have an eight bam, but if we were to use the seven bam, that would turn this into chi potential that you would need to look at. And right now, this is the only potential chi that we have right there. So I don't think I would do that. I think I would discard these first. Maybe toy toy or half flesh. South round. We already did the first one. This is the second one. Let's roll the dice. So for this random pull, we're going to be in east seat. Eight is north, so nine is east, or player one. We'll get 14 tiles this time. One bam is Dora. 
We do not have Dora here. Look at all these cracks. We have a pair here though. We have a pair here, here, and here. I think I would go for Toy Toy All Pwn. It's okay to mix suits. I would play Toy Toy here. We're in south, south round, east seat. I probably would maybe discard the north, but hold that red, because if we pair up, we could pwn the red and get a Yaku for that and a Han. I think I would discard probably these two first, maybe the eight and then the north. Pwn, 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 pwn. Or maybe even hold that, discard these. If we draw in cracks, I might even sacrifice the dots for half flush. If we could pair up one of those. I think that's what I would do. Discard these, see if we draw in cracks, or pair up. Because you can use the north to help you get to a half flush, even though it has no value in and of itself. You can use it to help you get to a half flesh, which is one suit with winds and dragons. And it doesn't matter what the combination of winds and dragons are. You just need any combination of winds and dragons with a suit for a half flesh. And that's a two hanyaku. That's called honitsu. But probably all pwn would be a quicker win because we're ready to pwn. All we need in here would be a pair. Either way, we didn't use these at all, so I would start by discarding those. East round. Third pull. This time, let's say we're in north seat. Player four. Seven Bam is Dora. No Dora here. We have a pair. Look at all these honors. I think I would play a half flesh. There's five honors there. Discard these first. Oh, there's a five, six, seven. Or five, six, seven, eight, four, five, maybe. Maybe this would be the better suit because these are ready to chi. Hold the pair to see if we pair up and use it. Otherwise, sacrifice if we get in cracks. If we're in east round and we're in north seat, this won't bring value, but these four could if we pair up and pwn east round any pwn of dragons. So we would need to pair up and then pwn. So I think that's what I would do. Half flesh, Let's discard these first. If you would discard the honors and play maybe pinfu cheese in here, let me know. There's really only one other chi potential that we would be sacrificing by going for the half flesh. Let me know if you would do that. South round. This time we're going to be a north seat. Player four. Seven crack is Dora. We've got Dora right there. We do have seven, eight, seven, nine, seven, nine. 
mixed triple chi. We have a pair and a potential chi right there, two, a side weight. I would play pin fu ri chi mixed triple chi. So I would discard these first and then this one. If the chi tiles came down for mixed triple chi, I would probably do it because we have our pair and we're ready on a chi here too. And mixed triple chi is a yaku, so that would qualify. I'd try to do it concealed if I could though. Mixed triple chi, Dora, maybe pinfu and richi. All chis concealed, that would be the requirement there. And because we have a side weight here, we could try for pinfu. That would be fun to play out. East round, fifth pull, seat seven, so that would be west. East, south, west, north. That's the progression of winds for Dora. So south would be Dora. And we have north. It's the east round. We're in west seat. So that wouldn't bring any score for us. So for our tiles, we have mixed triple chi potential here too. We also have potential pure double chi. So we have seven, seven, eight, seven, eight, seven, nine. So this one would be isolated. We could always get rid of that and use that for a pair. So there's pair potential, chi potential. So I'd say potential mixed triple chi, seven, eight, nine. And then maybe pin fu, stay concealed and reachy. Another thing we might consider is discarding these and play simples, all two through eight. We could maybe do six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight. We have a seven, which is light. We would need a six or an eight to strengthen that up, but the potential is there. And then of course, seven, eight, pure double chi in there potential. It's not there. We need a six or a nine, but if we play all simples, we would want to go on the little side with a six. We do have all the sevens, including a pone in there. If we pair it up, we could maybe play triple pone, which is the same pone in each suit. Same number, sevens. Last one, south round. I rolled an 11. Eight, nine, 10, 11 is west. Three bam is Dora right there. Three bam. We have ready on a pure double chi. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Pair of fives. Dora. It's isolated though. All these are isolated. So I think what I would probably do here
we do have pairs to one, two, three. We could pwn. I think I would probably discard these first. Maybe go for all pwn unless we draw into cracks or pair up the three. Since it's isolated though, and we have so we have no other tiles we can use with it, hmm, I'd be tempted to sacrifice it and push for cracks. If you play all one suit, that's called chinitsu, all one suit. And I believe that is full flush five han. So we have really one, two, three blocks right now. One, two, three, potential chi here, chi pair or potential pwn, or we could pwn One, two, three blocks. You need five blocks and a pair. So I think I would probably start by discarding these, then this. Hold that, see if we pair up. Maybe try for all pwn or chinitsu, full flush. I have the hardest time with Dora sometimes. In that last random pull, Dora was isolated. We had three pair in cracks. Dora was a ban. Do you sacrifice it and go for cracks? Or do you give up on that major suit, all those cracks, and work in Dora, even though it's an offsuit tile, comparatively speaking? This is what I have to work through and practice. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Japanese Mahjong, also known as Richi, may all your picks be keepers.